Hello Python programmers. So in this video, I'm going to show you that I can create this beautiful looking calendar using Python. So first of all, let's see what is the system requirement or what are the packages required to create this project. We need only two packages. First is Kinter to create this GUI and second is calendar to do everything else. Okay. So actually you don't even need to install both of the packages because they come pre-installed with the vanilla python installation so you all are ready to go now <laughs> so let's get started okay so now we are into our editor let's first import our required libraries from Kinter import star or import all this should be Kinter then we'll import our calendar package okay then first we'll create a variable which will uh, store our calendar data calendar dot calendar and here you can write the year for which you want uh, the whole calendar you can even write a specific month or a specific week or there are many operations that can be performed by varying the parameters I'll provide the link for the documentation of this book of this package you can go through that link and just explore this package a little bit so uh, I'll simply create the project for you so let's uh, first so let's create the window root is equal to tk uh, root dot geometry to define that what is uh, the geometry of our Kinter window okay so if you are a regular viewer of my channel then you must be familiar with all these Kinter commands because I guess we have worked on more than five to six projects on Kinter so you must be familiar with these commands but I'll still explain them for all those who are new here so here we are creating the kinter window variable then we are defining the geometry here there should be a dot here root dot geometry and the size is 500 into 600 height and width and then we'll define the title of uh, the window let's say uh, calendar okay now let's create our first label which will just simply say calendar so this will be a label and just a second root and the text here is calendar and the BG color or the background color here is dark gray and then the font uh, the font style here can be uh, anything but I like Times New Roman, so I'll write here Times and the size, let's say 28, and let this be bold. Okay, this should be inside inverted commas, and let's close our brackets. So now we have created our label let's grid this or implement this into our kinter window 
add the row first and add the column first now let's configure our Ginter window to be of the color white so this should be be a background background should be white here okay back ground should be white here then we'll create a second label which will display uh, I guess this L is also capital okay now these mistakes happens a lot and uh, okay now the text here is this text variable here let me give some space so that it's more visible to you all okay so this is the variable text here and then the font okay so this is very important here you have to use only one type of font which is consoles now uh, I will also show that it what will happen if you don't use uh, this type of uh, sorry this uh, font but uh, for now let's take the consoles font only now let's create this into the row second and to the column uh, first and we also need to provide some padding so that uh, it have some good difference from the edge of our window then we'll simply close our main loop okay so I guess there is no error let me close this one so let's first save this and then run this and there is an error calendar is not defined okay because it should be calendar this should be a let's run this again and there you can see um, but there is a problem yeah this is what I was talking about the font problem but uh, it's happening again there you can see the Monday column is uh, it's having nothing and it's going beyond the limit of the month so oh, actually it should be consolas this is a there should be an s here let's save this and, and run this and there you go okay so now it's working fine and this is what i was talking about the importance of this font i don't know how it works and what is the difference between all the other fonts and this one but uh, definitely it's working and actually i searched a lot about why this problem is happening L let me show you once again that what will happen if we change this into another type of font let's say it as times so there you can see this is not properly arranged there you can see this is not properly arranged i don't know why this is happening and and what is the difference between two font but definitely i focus more on the result consolas okay now let's run this again and there you can see perfectly working so this is the calendar package for you i will provide the link about how you can explore this package you can even find uh, the leap year and 
many other things from the documentation of this package so this is it for this video i hope you like it and i'll meet you in my next project bye bye